DJ Ryzik here and another video review looking at Ubuntu GNOME 1404. Uh, there's already a ton of Ubuntu 1404 videos on YouTube so I thought I'd go a little bit different take a look at the GNOME spin and uh, be perfectly honest I think it's a pretty nice looking desktop a um, lot of functionality here I know when, when GNOME 3 came out, um, a lot of people weren't too happy with the direction that GNOME went because um, it wasn't, or, you know, it was no longer the traditional desktop. But, uh, yeah, after playing around with this for the past couple of days, I can see how after you got used to it, you could do, have a pretty good workflow working with uh, the way things are set up here. So um, let me go through everything real quick. and. Um, you know, we'll, we'll take a look around here. Uh, okay, up here on the right hand corner of the taskbar, um, all these controls have been unified into one single panel, which I think is, is nice. You don't have too many things here that you, uh, you know, uh, get confused or whatever, um, but you you have everything that you need. Um, you, know, you got a power button, you got the uh, lock screen, you got a quick launch to your system settings right there, um, which is nice. You don't have to go digging through menus and icons and all that kind of stuff to find your system settings. So, uh, you know, that's, that's set up kind of nice right there. Um, you know, it used to be you'd have a couple of pop-up menus, one for the sound, one for the Wi-Fi, one for the power, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I like this kind of setup. You know, easy to log in and out right there. Okay, uh, time and date up there in the middle. Uh, over here in the activities, if you click on that, it pulls up, actually it pulls up a couple things. One, this is like a quick launch bar. Uh, you know, if you're used to having a dock, basically that's what that, that functions as. And then down here at the bottom, this will show um, all of your applications and rather than just scrolling through them you've got if you look at these little dots here each equates to a page of uh, of applications so you can scroll through them that way um, so if you're working on a tablet I can see how that's better um, you know if you're on on desktop or laptop probably not quite as big of a deal although you know for something that you might frequently use, you might remember, oh yeah, it's on page two or it's on page one, whatever, that you know, that sort of thing. Um, the icons they use are not bad looking, although to be perfectly honest, uh, if I end up keeping this uh, this desktop, I'll be changing the icons because um, you know, it might work for some people, it's just not me. Um, anyway, let me close that out. Over here you have a workspace switcher. Um, you can add workspaces over here, move applications to different workspaces, that sort of thing. So, uh, um, you know, that's uh, um, you know, a quick way to get to your workspaces. Um, personally, for me, with workspaces, I tend to set up uh, hotkeys for them so I can switch that way. Um, but if you prefer um, being able to work with them with the mouse, this will probably work out pretty well for you. Um, okay, uh, up here, let me close. Um, if you if you take a look at the search right here, you can search through your application. Like let's say I wanted to look at Libre Office, you know, it'll pull it right up for you. So it basically searches through all your applications for you. Um, so that's. Uh, you know, if you know what you're looking for and, and you're just not finding it, you could uh, use that to search. Okay. Um, all right, this is one of the stock desktops uh, wallpapers that it came with. Uh, it's got a few others, and to be quite honest, none of them are really all that great. Personally, for me, uh, again, if I keep this desktop, I will be downloading some other wallpapers because uh, the little footprint thing uh, is just not working for me. Um, I look at uh, the applications that uh, that we came with here. Um, 
let's see here. There's a couple of games. Um, a lot of these right now are just the settings. Uh, Firefox for your web browser. G Edit for um, your text editor. Uh, LibreOffice. Uh, I believe it is the most recent. Let's take a look. Yes, it is the most recent version of LibreOffice, which is a good thing. Um, let me see. Uh, let me take a look here on something on Libre. Yes, just like on um, the regular version of Ubuntu, they don't have all the icon sets installed. Why they do that, I don't know. The new icons, um, the the I think they're called Cipher or maybe Crystal. They are much better looking than these icons. Um, I mean, these look like something out of the 80s or 90s. Why they're not up uh, adding the the new icons to their repository, I have no idea. Um, that's one thing that I'll be fixing on here. Um, anyway, let's look at some of the other applications. Uh, okay, Brazo for your uh, uh, for your disk burner. No, that's pretty good. Uh, empathy for instant messaging. Evolution. I was playing around with Evolution a little earlier today, and um, compared to I, I've worked I've worked with Evolution in the past and found it to be buggy, um, freezes up, all kinds of error problems. Um, not this time. It everything seems to work. Um, you, when uh, used to be when you would go and add your say your Gmail or your Yahoo Mail, um, you had to put all of your um, all of your uh, IMAP settings, server settings, all that kind of stuff in manually. Now, I mean, I told it that uh, my email and Yahoo um, their the email addresses gave them my passwords, boom, that was it. it. It set everything up instantly, automatically. Everything's been working without errors. So I, you know, I've got no complaints with um, um, with Evolution right now. I believe this is 10.4. Yeah, 3.10.4 3 is the version of Evolution. I think the last time I used Evolution, it was like version 3.4, maybe 3.2. So obviously they've made a lot of improvements lately. Um, really, really happy with it. Um, I'll close that out then. All right, what other applications are I need to talk about? Files is... Um, You know, it's a pretty basic file manager, nothing special there. Um, you do have some options there. You can add, an, add another tab. So if you want to do like a, a work, uh, you know, say two different categories at the same time, um, you know, for transferring files around, that sort of thing, or just so that you can go back to reference one. The tab tab thing is is nice. Personally, I would rather see a dual pane uh, file manager, but that's just me. I, uh, if you're familiar with KDE and have used the um, uh, the Dolphin file manager, I really like that file manager, and I wish more distributions would go to something like that because um, I really like that two pane view. But the the tab uh, browsing, it's not bad. Um, and for the first time, this is my first error that I've come up with. The uh, uh, file manager froze up. So we'll see if that's, uh, that's going to be a constant problem. I do not know. So a, like I said, it's the first time I've had that problem. Okay, what else have we looked at? Uh, a 
couple other games there, power management, passwords, online accounts, rhythm box for uh, your music, which is a uh, yeah, it's a pretty good music player. Shotwell for uh, photo management. That's a pretty good uh, photo manager too. Um, made by the same people that made um, uh, the Geary um, email app. Uh, which, by the way, if you've never taken a look at Geary, be sure to check out my uh, review of Geary. Very nice email client if you're looking for a very simple, easy to use IMAP email uh, application. Uh, let's see uh, what else we got here. Software updater, software and updates. Right there, uh, basically the same thing that you will see on the standard Ubuntu uh, flavor. So nothing uh, really gnome special there. Still the Ubuntu Software Center. And this is one of my pet peeves. All right, see how long it took for that thing to boot up? Uh, it should not take that long. Personally, of the uh, all the software centers that come, you know, from the factory, so to speak, the one that comes with uh, Lubuntu, the LXDE version of uh, Ubuntu, it is my all-time favorite. Fast, easy to work with, um, very nice. And uh, another one that it's a uh, I guess you call it an aftermarket or a third party uh, software center. There's one called AppGrid. Uh, definitely worth checking out. And actually, I may install that on here and do a quick re review on AppGrid because it's really nice. Very quick and snappy. All right. Um, I think I've hit on most of the, uh, the applications here. Um, uh, videos. That's uh, that's what they call. It. And uh, uh, this is basically your movie player right here. Um, you know, nothing special or anything about. It. Just uh, it's simple, easy to use. Um, seems to play most codexes. So uh, not a whole lot need to be said about that thing. Um, I think that's all of the applications there. Um, oh, Tweak Tool. Um, the Tweak Tool basically allows you to, to customize the desktop. Um, not only the desktop, but you know functions and all that kind of stuff. Um, so your appearance, um, how you want your desktop to look at or look like. Um, turn on and off uh, various extensions. Change your fonts, keyboard management. Um, uh, start up, up, you know, all kinds of stuff. So you can really tweak this the way that you like it. So, like, um, let's just say, for example, um, you want to go back to like a Windows style interface on on your Windows. Um, you know, you can go and turn the maximize and minimize buttons on. And uh, See, I believe we may have to go and yeah, now we got them. I didn't know if we'd have to log in and log back out, but that added them. So you've got your 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 minimize and maximize buttons, which uh, personally I I like having those. Um, I've been using the minimize and maximize buttons far too long to to get out of that habit. Um, Anyway, let me pull back up the uh, tweak tool. So anyway, you can add those back. Um, load up various hotkeys, how you want your windows to work. Um, number of workspaces, how to create workspace, all, you know, all kinds of stuff. You can really, really tweak a lot of things on this desktop. So I'm going to be playing around with this and seeing, uh, seeing what I can come up with. So. Um, um, you know, I'll probably do a follow-up review. Um, not not as much review, but uh, you know, here's what I was able to come with up with, and uh, what I think will work out well for my kind of work style. Okay, well, I think that is about it. Um, like I said, I will do a follow-up video 
um, show you some of the changes and tweaks and all that sort of thing that you can do to the desktop um, just uh, you know to get some ideas rolling around in your head see what you can what you could do with this uh, desktop um, you know when GNOME switched from GNOME 2 to GNOME 3 a lot of people weren't happy um, but I think the way that uh, things are shaping up now it's getting to be uh, uh, a better and better desktop uh, a lot of the applications are much uh, better especially like uh, like I was showing in evolution um, no glitchiness no problems none of that um, so anyway uh, hope you enjoyed the video if uh, uh, if you liked it give it a big old thumbs up uh, please subscribe if you want to keep updated on uh, more videos and uh, thanks a lot see you next time